The Sanjiangyuan area in northwest China's Qinghai is home to the headwaters of the Yangtze, Yellow and Lansung rivers in China. It provides the lower reaches of these major rivers with more than 60 billion cubic meters of water annually. That is why it is dubbed the Water Tower of China. While joining national lawmakers from Qinghai during the annual parliamentary session in 2016, Chinese President Xi Jinping called on authorities to adopt an overall and long-term view on environmental protection and promote green lifestyles. He said, We should protect the environment like protecting our eyes and treat the environment the way we treat our lives. Today's Sanjiang Yuan is known for its lush grass, blue waters and bountiful wildlife. But years ago, it was a different picture. To restore the ecology, local herdsmen began to take measures to restore the grassland. Then To ensure a clean water supply downstream, wastewater is treated before being discharged into the river. This sewage treatment plant that was put to use in 2015 in Yushu of Qinghai treats 15,000 tons of domestic wastewater every day. We China started piloting the Sanjiang Guan National Park in 2016. Under the National Park Management, herders and farmers have been turned into the main forces of environmental protection in Sanjiang Yuan. Thanks to the protective measures, the ecological environment in the area has steadily improved. Sam Drop, a herdsman turned ranger at the National Park, has witnessed the change. In August 2019, Xining, the capital of Qinghai, held the first National Park Forum. In his congratulatory letter sent to the forum, President Xi said, by implementing the National Park system, China aims to maintain the primitiveness and integrity of natural ecology, protect biodiversity and ecological security, and preserve precious natural assets for future generations. The Earth. 同住生态文明之基，同走绿色发展之路。